Skydivers use parachutes to lower their terminal velocity, which is the constant speed they'll eventually reach when falling. Parachuting isn't mentioned on your spec directly, but it's probably the most popular example of terminal velocity that's used in exams. There's a few extra details here compared to other falling objects, so let's go through this process in detail. In step one, the skydiver accelerates downwards due to their weight. Like any falling object, there's two forces acting on the skydiver. Their weight, which is the force due to Earth's gravity, and also air resistance, a resistive force caused by collisions with air molecules. Initially, the weight is stronger than the air resistance, so there is a resultant downward force, so the skydiver is accelerating downwards. In step two, the air resistance acting on them increases with their speed until they reach their terminal velocity. As the skydiver moves faster, they'll collide with air molecules more frequently. This means that air resistance increases with speed. Eventually, the skydiver will reach a speed where this air resistance will equal their weight, so the forces will be balanced. Since there's no resultant force, there will be no acceleration, and the skydiver travels at constant speed. This is their terminal velocity. But this speed will be very large and dangerous to land at, so the skydiver needs to somehow slow down before reaching the ground. This brings us to step three. The skydiver deploys their parachute. This greatly increases the air resistance acting on them. The parachute works by having a large surface area, which causes there to be more collisions with air molecules. So air resistance greatly increases. Most importantly, it will now be stronger than the skydiver's weight. So there's an upward resultant force opposing their motion and thus a deceleration. The skydiver has to pick the right moment to deploy their parachute. If they deploy it from too high up, then the air won't be dense enough to have the desired effect, and too low down means they won't be able to reduce their speed in time. In step four, the skydiver decelerates until they reach a new, slower terminal velocity. Remember that air resistance depends on how fast an object is moving. So if the skydiver is now slowing down, then the air resistance acting on them must be decreasing. Eventually, the skydiver will slow down to the point where the air resistance is equal to the weight again, so there's no resultant force and the skydiver is travelling at a new terminal velocity. What's most important here is that the parachute means the speed doesn't have to be as high for air resistance to balance the weight, so it lets the skydiver travel at a new, slower speed, one which it is safe to land at. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.